Hey, welcome back. This is Crota giving you part two of a replay between Todd and Wolf here on Echo Isle. We have Wolf building an Ancient of Lore kind of off to the side next to a mercenary camp, so we so Todd may not be able to scout this anytime quickly. Archmage now trying to come and do some harassment, and the Warden trying to do the same thing as well. We have dual Sanctums coming down with a single workshop as well. We do have a blacksmith, but no riflemen being produced at this time. More f scout farms or s farms being produced in the back. Large Huntress army now coming in as the water elementals are trying to do some additional damage. It was able to stop the building of what I believe to be an Ancient of Lore. Warden now coming back in as well. Warden trying to do some harassment, but does not know that the Archmage came to the south side and is now going to continue to do some harassment. Is the Archmage Archmage going to drop an additional water elemental? So those Huntresses have to be careful, trying to do a little bit of a dance right now. Footman now coming in as well. Warden trying to come back in to try to stop this harass. Huntress is now trying to push to the back, and we have the Warden now able to scare off the Archmage. Interestingly enough, this goblin merchant shop still has not been um, crept out yet, so um, there are some pretty good items there. No additional heroes being produced, so it is just a single... Actually, let me take that back. Mountain King now out, finally out for Todd. And it's still no additional hero, secondary hero coming in from Wolf at this time. Archmage now coming in. Oh, d drops another water elemental, and those water and those huntresses are forced to run into the back. While Wolf now coming in with a Pandarian Brewmaster, so that Pandarian Brewmaster is going to wreck, do a lot of damage to those footmen. Todd trying to take care of his footmen already, and making sure that they do not and um, if any feed any additional experience. And currently, we have Todd now trying to go ahead and trying to run, and we have a bolt on the warden, but that is not going to be um, not going to be too successful as the warden does have a potion of invulnerability. And excuse me for bumping the mic. We have Archmage now trying to come in. Uh, we have a tome of a tome of intelligence being picked up, and now both players just trying to come in. Breath of Fire and um, Bolt. Not sure who got the kill. I think the Wolf got the kill as the Pan or Mountain King does not have any additional experience right now. And Warden goes down or Footman goes down to the Warden. It, it, let's see. Yes, we are gonna. That one Huntress is gonna go down. And let's see. Yes, and the Bolt completes. Now it looks like an um, Archmage wants to go ahead and finish off this particular creep camp. Mountain King coming in, taking on the Troll Trapper. Warden trying to come in to do some additional harassment, hiding to make sure to see what's really happening here. Cannot see what's in the Goblin goblin uh, Merchant Shop, so not going to see what's happening here. Pandurian Brewmaster now going to get to level 2. It has, does have a Wand of Stealing, so Wand of Stealing may come in handy to get additional Breath of Fires and Drunken Hazes off. Um, we d Todd is currently sitting at 1500 gold, trying to break into um, low upkeep as quickly as possible. C currently sitting at 52 now, so um, he is trying to break into low upkeep, and he d uh, does have a good amount of gold, so he's trying to do an economic game right here. Mortar is now coming in to counter counter those um, Huntresses in the back. Meanwhile, we do have Wolf currently sitting at 48 over 50. Todd does have a little bit better of an economic advantage. Mountain King picks up a Clause of Attack plus 9. Ooh, Potion of Invisibility on a Warden. Warden may try to go after some low hit point units, but there really are none right now, so not quite sure what's going to happen here. Mountain King currently um, sitting at level 2. We do have Spellbreakers in play to try to counter um, the Breath of Fire coming in from the Pandarian Brewmaster. And let's see how that's going to go ahead and play out. Warden now trying to come in. Warden... Not not going after any mortar teams, just trying to do some scouting right now. And Pandarian Brewmaster currently sitting at level two, almost level three. So yeah, gonna go ahead and finish off this red uh, green creek cramp to get to level three. And Pandarian Brewmaster will finally get to level three. Oh, we do have ooh, potion of invulnerability trying to take down that w one low mortar team. That low mortar team goes down to a shadow strike. Priest now coming in as well. Priest doing getting some getting focused down as well. And the the let's see if that priest is gonna be able to s keep himself alive by healing himself. Not quite sure. Yes, it looks as though the healing regeneration rate on the priest is faster than the damage on the shadow strike. We do have some riflemen now in play. Breakers now in play. Mortars currently in play. Um, Todd's army currently sitting at 79 over 90, so already uh, busting into almost high upkeep. Meanwhile, Wolf is currently sitting at 62 over 70, so Wolf is a little bit behind and may have a, may run into issues here. We have scout towers now being built, ivory towers being built coming in from Todd, and so they should quickly turn into um, arc arcane towers and an ivory tower. Ooh, we have a nice anti-magic potion on the Pandarian Brewmaster, so no bolts on him. Nice clap coming in from the Mountain King, so nice scroll of healing as well, so uh, the players 
really in position right now. Wolf is doing a really, really, um, Todd is doing a really, really good job of just keeping a really, really interesting frontline army. Um, Warden currently low on hit points. Ooh, able to take down the Archmage. Archmage goes down at level 3. Mountain King currently sitting at level 2, focusing down those Dryads left and right. And, uh, and Warden currently sitting at level 4 right now. I'm not quite sure who's winning this fight right now. Those towers are going to um, come up fairly quickly. And let's see what's going to happen here. Mountain King now trying to run to the back, currently, currently running away from those Wardens. Yuna's coming back left and right. Archmage now coming back into play. Um, I think he was resurrected at the tavern here, right there, and we do have wardens now going down. So, um, huntress is going down. So the w um, some mercenary, um, some merchants are going down, and at this point, um, w I think Todd is able to go ahead and win this game. Those mortars are really just ripping apart the army, even without the fragmentation shards uh, upgrade. And, and we have the tree of life now coming in. We warden now trying to come in is going to take down that one low hit point rifleman. And, uh, yeah, breath of fire. Pandurian Brewmaster trying to run to the back right now. Arcane Tower draining the mana out of that Pandurian Brewmaster. Pandurian Brewmaster now trying to run back out. Wolf currently seeing that 53 over 60. And this this well-timed push to make... Um, knowing that Wolf does not have a strong enough army to counter when Todd was able to break just into, um, into 79 over 80 food in, in a matter of minutes. Great play coming in from Todd. Let's see, the army sizes are now currently seen at 73 over 90 versus 48 over 40. So negative negative food count for Wolf, and that may be all she wrote for Wolf. Wolf is getting does have bears in play and have rejuvenation and dryads, but the um, Pandarian Brewmaster is out of play currently. There is, and does not have, a n will need to build two Moonwells in order to even begin resur resurrecting that Pandarian Brewmaster. Archmage now trying to run to the back perhaps get a healing scroll and then heal back his army before he does that final push against the base let's see what's going to happen here archmage picks up does pick up a healing scroll and warden now coming in warden is now slowed Ooh, bolt on the on the warden warden is gonna have to be careful it does have a blink ability should try should probably pull to the back of pandering brewmaster back in play not quite sure what, what I missed there, and now the Pandurian Brewmaster now trying to run away. A Druid of the Claw goes down, and Wolf goes ahead and says GG. Hope you enjoyed that game here on Echo Isle, and I hope to see you guys on Battle.net. Um, you can find me as Crota, C-R-O-T-A, on U.S. East and U.S. West. Thanks for listening.